All right, thanks for joining us here on Chaos to Clarity on our Friday afternoon. I'm going to take a look at our tropical wave in the Atlantic. Um, you know, about 24 hours ago, I was very impressed that we were going to have a hurricane with this. Nate, now I'm not as sure, but it's it's going to be a tricky forecast. I, I want to show you what I'm looking at here. That's what Chaos to Clarity is. Um, all right, this is it right now, and it's not very healthy. I mean, you, you can just see that this is a tropical wave, and the convection, the cloud mass is just stretched quite a bit. Now, there is some wind shear going on here, but I, I really think the main problem with this is the drier air. Look at all this dry air. Now, it's mostly the dry air, and this is important. Oh, maybe about 15 degrees north, but a lot of the dry air is it around 20 degrees north here, denoted by the yellow shading. But but as I zoom in on this, there's dry air. Yeah, there's dry air here, here, and here. And there's no question that that is uh, preventing this from developing right now. And the question is, is sometimes when you get this dry air, when you get this dry air in place, you never get it out. Although I've also seen that if you have low wind shear and warm water, you could still start to build thunderstorms, and in time, this dry air can get mixed out. Um, but I'll tell you what, it's a tough call. So you could see the dry air. What about the, the other ingredients here? Um, let me show this to you here quickly. Um, this is the European, which, let me show you this quickly, just to show you what, <coughs> excuse me, what has happened here. Even the GFS and European, let me put this in the full, so your energy <coughs> is out in here. It's out in here. This is the area on the uh, European and the GFS. Let's play this forward. Now, the GFS, you can carry this through. This is Monday evening. Here it is, right in here. Pretty far south. Now, pretty far south. The farther south this goes, the better off. Because remember, the drier air is north, and you also have less wind shear. I'll show you that in a second. Um, but you can see there it is. Uh, European, I, I can't even find it on the European anymore. See, the European ha gets it going, gets it going a little bit here, but it just weakens it. By the time we get in the, well, this is it as we get into Tuesday, somewhere in here, uh, the GFS is a little stronger and a little weaker, but down in here, and then as we go forward, as we get into Wednesday, there's the uh, there's the American model. You can see the energy coming in toward the Windward Islands. Uh, it was funny, though, the GFS, remember where it was? I didn't do a video. It was like about 500 miles north earlier this week in the Atlantic. The GFS, uh, European has no, European kills it. I, I believe the European kills it because there's so much dry air that the dry air never gets out of it. That's the problem with it. In fact, let me show you that on the European here. You see, look at all this dry air. Now, my thought was is all the dry air would be north, but the European says, nope, too much dry air. Too much dry air in here. See that? Look at all the dry air um, in there. Now, yep, see, there it goes. All into this whole area, this pocket of dry air just overwhelms everything. And if that's right, there won't be a storm. The question is, is it right? I'm not sure. What I, what I get concerned about is that there's low wind shear in this area. I, I'm, let me take a look at the uh, 200 millibars. Everybody who follows me know that I like 200 millibars. So the pocket where this is going to go is going to be in here. This is the area in which it's going to move. Now, this is the condition Saturday. Let me go to Monday. And again, you look at Monday, what do you see? You know, there's some wind shear, but it's not a lot in this area. There's Monday. Here's Tuesday evening. Here's Wednesday evening. So it's in, in here. And there, there is a pocket of pretty low wind shear in here. So I'm worried that, yeah, there's dry air, but I wonder if the water is warm enough and the winds are light enough that this can get organized. Right now... The dry air is overwhelming everything. I must tell you, about 36 hours ago, I was much more impressed that this was going to be Gabrielle. Now I, I have a little doubt in my mind. I, I still worry that the wind shear is low enough that this is going to try to develop. Uh, so, and, and I will tell you this. I've always said this. In the tropical Atlantic, is tricky. I've seen things ramp up and ramp down very quickly. 
I made a little timeline here that I believe will stand the test of time through the weekend until we get in here next week here. I'm off this weekend. Um, so this is kind of a little timeline here. As we head in the weekend, the dry air is going to slow organization. I, I'm starting to think there won't be much of any organization. But Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, as it gets into this area, this is 60, so about 50 degrees west into this zone, there may be just a, a, enough uh, low wind shear that this could develop into a storm. And then this system would develop or move into the islands as we get into Wednesday and Thursday of next week. Now, where does it go from there? Does it get pulled up and out? Is it in the Caribbean? I'm not sure. So it, really, w when you look at the United States right now, all bets are off. I, it, It's too early to give any kind of indication on where this is going to go. I do believe, though, that the farther south this gets, the better chance that it could develop. The question is, is why you have lower wind shear and you have warm water, that dry air, boy, that can choke this system off. And if that dry air doesn't get out of that center of circulation, there won't be a storm. If it does, I think it can evolve into a storm, at least tropical storm, and I can still see a hurricane as it approaches the islands late next week. Tough call. I wish I had more definitive answers for you because this is chaos to clarity. At this point, I have more chaos than clarity with this system. We have time to watch this because, again, we're only looking at this approaching the islands as we head into the latter half of next week. That's where I stand right now. Let's watch this as we head toward the weekend. Any questions, you can follow me. I'm on X. I'm at Reno. I'll be watching this weekend um, as uh, I'll be watching this weekend as well. Let's see how this works out.